I've been a bit late to cover this, so last week CSGO got the update to get it all ready for the upcoming IEM Rio Major. As usual, 50% of anything you spend on this event will go to the players, teams and organisations taking part in it. It's all self-explanatory. But in this video I will cover the map changes. Special mention to Ember for getting a double update, the first half being general improvements to the map, and the second being a visual overhaul to get us into the Halloween spooky spirit mood. From the nighttime ambience, to the background sounds and the pumpkins and graves everywhere. It reminds me kind of how Kabubble was a few years ago, but with more blood. Or rather, it would have been, but for low violence reasons this blood had to be swapped out for green slime instead, which in a way is even spookier. Ooh, why is this blood green and so on. It's not often you get a map that's green and purple, but in this instance I think it goes together rather well. They also wanted to temporarily change the map's name to Disson Ember, but unfortunately it has remained membered. So that's the visual overhaul, but the map itself has received some improvements as well. They found a way of making the stones on the castle look shinier, and it looks really good. Almost sourced two levels of good. Makes me want to lick it. The bridge that was removed near Helipad was this walkway just here. This area has been dropped down to ground level and that hut that was out there has been shifted across a bit. Tunnels were always a bit of a maze on this map. I often struggled to even find my way down there, so they've tried to make them a bit easier to navigate by putting colour coded direction signs everywhere. This is the bin that's been added to allow you to get over this fence just here. There was already one on the other side so this has become a two way route now. Lamppost models have been added, presumably to better light this map up for night time. The double doors fix is a rather interesting one. When adding sound to the level, one of the mappers accidentally added a double door. This was spotted by a few players, what? but it has now been reduced down to being just one door again. And the special lily is just out here, beyond the lighthouse. By total coincidence, this also happens to be the name of one of the mapper's daughters, now immortalised in Counter-Strike Forevermore. So a brilliant effort by the makers of Ember to carry the Halloween spirit this year. In my opinion, they missed out on some easy extras. They really should have added a face to the poppies, especially given the way they follow you around as you walk. This pool over here is just asking to have its tyre swapped out for a drowned body, and why not change these jets of steam to a creepier colour, and to add a scary face to them? The makers of Vineyard told me that there wasn't much worth covering in this update. It's mostly been a case of going through all the community feedback that they received from a number of individuals who kindly took the time and effort to find all sorts of bugs and floating props in the map. Joa Kaka 1998 strikes again, who is at this point famous for their ability to find many very very small things to fix. And the wall hacks patch note thing just refers to some walls which were see through from one direction. And the restocking of the bar is a reference and thanks to a guy who kept bringing them free drinks from the infinite refills area at IEM Cologne this year. You'll be happy to hear that Cascade, formerly known as Prime, has got its good looks back. The issue was that the particle systems were interfering with smoke grenades, and they were removed until a fix was found. Fortunately, Angel Foxo over on Twitter came up with a way of fixing it by adding an opaque mesh inside the smoke grenades to prevent stuff from showing up from through the smoke clouds. So not only are these effects back, but Will has gone about upping the quality of the map elsewhere as well, and the soft shadows have returned, meaning you'll no longer see dynamically moving shadows of stuff on the ground anymore. This returns the map back to how it used to be, giving it a different look to almost every other map made for CSGO so far. It definitely looks like the map is pushing the engine to the limit though, as a few compromises have had to be made to the decals to stop it from crashing. Valve please fix. And Will isn't finished with the effects just yet. A bunch of massive lens flares have been added, and a bit of a story may be told come future map updates. Just look at all those particles. And that's about it for the Halloween update. It seems like Valve has left it to the mappers to do something special this Halloween. The makers of Vineyard told me that they did consider a spooky nighttime Halloween-y facelift, but said that it would have been a lot of effort, with no guarantee that it would even have been added to the game. So well done to Ember for taking that chance and for making at least one map this Halloween suitably spookily themed.